Okay, so you're ready to start browsing things in the machine, loading them, and playing around with them. To do this, we can enter browse mode on the hardware. So just press this browse button here, and you can see how it says highlighted. On the software, the browser is located on the left-hand section of the screen. And you can see how there's different options we can choose and different filters we can select. Um, for now, I'm going to work on the hardware. So the first thing you want to do is load up an empty group. So to do that, I'm just going to hold the group button and then hit this white pad up here, and this will give me an empty group. Um, really quickly, if you want to delete a group, hold the shift, erase, group buttons, and then the group you want to delete. Um, on the software, you can add new groups by hitting this um, plus button up here, and delete just by right-clicking right -clicking and then delete. So anyways, we have an empty group and we're ready to start browsing. Um, now I just want to open up a drum kit. So to do that, I'm going to select a group. Um, you can see that there are different options here, but for now I'm just going to stick with group. Um, once you have that selected, move on to the next one, um, just by using these arrows here. And I will select, um, I'll leave it on all products. This is where you can see um, your expansion packs if you have any. Um, but for the maximum amount of kits, I'm just going to leave it on all. Um, have that selected, move on to the next one. Um, you can select different types. Um, for groups, there's kits, loops, and multi-effects. Um, I want a drum kit, so I will leave it on kits. Um, and then we can select a different type of drum kit, so... Um, there's acoustic kits, digital kits, um, melodic, anything like that, but I want an urban one. So you can see that we've run to the end of our filters, there's nothing more we can select. So now we're ready to move on to the list. So I'm going to hit this F2 button up here to move to the list. Um, the software, that's just this long list of everything. And you can scroll through with your mouse, or you can use the browse knob on the hardware. So just browse through on anything, and find anything that you like. It's also important to note that there's this plus pattern option up here. If this is selected, um, it'll load a pattern along with your group, so you'll have a pre-recorded loop ready to play. However, you can disable that just by clicking this F3 button, or you can press this button down here on the software, and that'll prevent you from loading anything except the actual sounds. So, I'm going to leave that off, and then just press it down on the knob, and the software you can load by dragging and dropping, or by pressing the Enter key on your keyboard. But I like to use a hardware, so I'm just going to press down on the knob, and then you can see that your sound slots are filled and you have a group loaded up. Um, I'm going to show you how to load an instrument next. So I'm going to find a new group and then go back into browse mode and start all over again. So at the very beginning I'm going to choose sound this time. And there's different kinds of sounds, um, different products, but I'm just going to leave it on all again. You can choose between drums and instruments. Um, this is where you will find the machine drum synth, which is a native instruments plugin that emulates drums. It's very powerful. Um, that's fun to play around with if you have some time, but for now I'm going to leave it on instruments. Um, and move on to the next one. I'll choose keys. Keep on filtering down. Um, there's different kinds of keys, so I'll choose electric. I reached the end of my filters, so I'll move to the list. Um, now again, you have this list of different um, electric keys, so I'll just find one and load it up by pressing um, down. Okay, so now our sound is loaded. You'll notice that these other sounds are still blank, which makes sense because we only loaded a single sound on this first slot. So to play this, I will enter keyboard mode by hitting the shift button and the pad mode button, and now we're in keyboard mode. Um, you can change octave by holding the pad mode button and then these up and down buttons over here. I'm going to exit keyboard mode and then load up a individual sample. So to do that, I will find a new sound slot that's empty, so just click on the next one. Um, and then I'm going to go back into browse mode and start from the beginning again. So first thing I want to do is just select sample, and then leave it on all products, and move on. Um, for drums, you can choose different kinds. Oh, I mean for a type, you can choose different kinds, um, but I want drums, so I'll leave it on that. Then move over to subtype, I will choose a kick drum, and then different kinds of kicks, I will choose a vinyl one, and then head to my list, and then find one. Um, this pre here is a neat way so you can hear the sound before you actually load it. Um, you won't be able to hear it because of the way I'm recording, but you can hear it in my headphones. And um, you can disable this just by hitting F3. In the software, the options located down here, you can turn it on by clicking, and you can also change the volume, which is pretty handy. So I'm going to leave this on and then scroll through and find a vinyl kick that I like. Once you find one, again just press down like we've always have. 
and your kick is loaded. Um, in this setup, your kick is not going to be velocity sensitive because we're still in browse mode, so just exit out of browse mode and everything will be fine. Um, this is how you can start building drum kits. So if you want a snare, um, find a new empty slot and just repeat the procedure. So browse mode, back into the filters, I will choose a snare. Um, go over, choose a vinyl one, list. Press down, and then you have a kick and a snare. And you can see it's pretty easy to start loading these different sounds as well as different kits. So um, play around with this, figure out how to load different things. Um, you can also load full projects. Um, just doing that by going to the very beginning and then choosing um, project as your selection there. And you can start um, actually playing some sounds on machine and getting used to how to work with the hardware and the software. So um, once you're familiar with loading different things, we can move on and start recording basic patterns.